top three. Let's go. Got my money. All right. my chair at all right what up don't hey ride big business all right this is my final death battle of the day i swear i gotta see my homie deadpool deadpool versus pinky power i don't understand what's the whole thing about this my little pony but you know she must be a formidable opponent to play against deadpool let's go i don't they wild Super Rad Ray Gun. Yeah, Ray Gun. Damn, dude. Now, link in the description. Pick up I gotta games see it, if that's just cash. mobile. Us. If that's mobile, I, I, I definitely gotta get that shit. That's all I got for my, for my phone. <laughs> has a very I actually want that new one. Authors should be wary. As one small crack can be enough to smash the boundary and send their stories careening out of That's control. That's funny. Are we really Thank doing there, this? Man. We're really doing this. Well, here's Deadpool. Marvel's work with the mouth. And Pinkie Pie. Equestria's peppy party pony. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win uh, a death, death battle. battle. Here we go. Cancer. When you think of the Merc with a mouth, now they have movie footage to show. The first things you associate with the assassin called Deadpool. Yet before the red and black suit, these were the ingredients in the life of <laughs> Wade Wilson. Blah blah blah. We've been over this before. How about we just skip to the best parts? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Thank you. You just can't skip my amazing origin story like that. I have a movie now, so we have all this crispy new footage to use. For educational purposes, of course. Uh -huh. Man, he's back. Where's my of shotgun? course he's Just back. In short, Wilson was a mercenary who developed cancer. I have 34 tumors. They were literally everywhere. Oh, and the guys you messed with Wolverine picked him up, injected him with weird healing fluids, and turned him into a rotten testicle. <laughs> hey, that would have been a much better superhero name for you. Whatever you say, Captain Bucktooth. You know as well as I do that I'm kind of a big deal, and I've always lived that lit, fresh mercenary life. <laughs> and I even partner up with famous little Wolfie on occasion, like when I worked with the X-Force. Where's your mute button? I probably left it in the Savage Land after my dinosaur rodeo. Boy. What? Oh yeah, check it out. I took a selfie. Hashtag no filter. Huh. Would you look at that? Speaking of Wolverine, Deadpool gained a healing factor from those experiments, which easily trumps anything the X-Men can do. He's strong enough to redirect Baby. a rogue helicopter, fights of faster course. than a normal man can react, and is an expert marksman with virtually any weapon he touches. Mm. To all my adoring fans out there, you know what I'm all about. Swords. I got them. They're made of this that magic satchel. enough to cut through Spidey's webs and right through his franchise. <laughs> Grenades, shurikens, bullets and size, all that good Naruto stuff. I oh, wow, really? deck, baby. Personal thing, though. It's in Naruto. Bullets. I spread them like Sabbath bread. We had the Ordinate Turtle. Are those and Gosh Marks? Are you three pistols? Yeah, but they can be whatever you want them to be, baby. Oh, no, Red, you got the magic bag with the elephant. Wait, what are you talking about? What elephant? After gaining his enhanced abilities, about that, his so. life only got stranger. He's gone on time traveling adventures with the mutant cable, joined the Agent X mercenary force, temporarily gained the power cosmic, and even got involved in a love triangle involving death. Oh, that whole debacle? Okay, so get this. You know the Grim Reaper, Spectre of Death, and all that? Well, turns out she's this sexy hot skeleton, babe. And she totally digs the Deadpool. But our Facebook status is still on. It's complicated. Because I'd have to die to be with her. And then Thanos shows up to try and take her for himself. Uh -huh. He cursed me with immortality so I could never see my boo again. But he later took the curse back because he really wanted to kill me. Uh. But he can't because then I win. And he knows it. Not what I had issues. Wow. So, to be a galactic lord. Pretty good for a Vancouver Canadian, right? 
Deadpool may be effective as a widespread wow. gamer, but when he gets serious, he becomes nigh unstoppable as far as super enhanced cancer ridden assassins go. Mm -hmm. He's gone toe to toe against Captain America, infiltrated mm -hmm. Doctor Doom's country of Latveria, and defeated a horde of 100 ninjas while talking on the phone. Even if you could doubt that, he's over weak and far already moves. healing factor puts him on a whole nother level. It's let him dive head first out of a moving plane, survive the freaking Chrysler building falling on top of him, <laughs> throw right out of nuclear explosions, yeah, and even regenerated from being turned into a puddle. Right. So that same healing factor is also part of Deadpool's biggest weakness. Yeah, yeah you're stop missing me, Bob. No, Boomstick actually has a pretty good point. Years of immortality has let you get away with being sloppy in your approach, yeah. which allows a clever enough opponent to gain an upper hand. Like this. What? What? Oh, hey, 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 what's that? What are you doing? No! You monsters! I won't go the way of Amazing Spider-Man! Oh, quit whining. You'll be back. No! Since when could you do that? It's been two years since our last Deadpool episode. I've had plenty of prep time. <laughs> the land of Equestria. <laughs> a magical kingdom full of rolling Now I'm gonna need some explanation about this one for you. A place where you just can't help but be happy. Unless you happen to live on a rock farm. The hell's a rock farm? Like a quarry? No, no, no. They literally farm rocks. For these ponies, rocks were their life. They harvested rocks, they sculpted rocks, they played with rocks, they built their homes from rocks, they even ate rocks. Boy! The one pony on this farm wasn't quite as rock crazy as the rest of her family. Oh no, she's a whole nother level of crazy. This is Pinkamina <laughs> Diane Pie. Just call her Pinky Pie. One day, chipping away in the grueling rock fields as always, Pinky witnessed something that would change her life forever. The colors! Yeah, the yeah. very sight of this unprecedented explosion of color, which originated from Rainbow Dash's first legendary Sonic Rain Boom, yeah. instantly brought Pinky the most joy she had ever felt mm. in her life. Brimming with happiness, she wanted to share her newfound jubilation with her grim-faced family. So she stayed up all night organizing a surprise party. It was so out of chain that it made them all smile for the first time. Which was actually quite horrifying. Right. That's when Pinky finally realized that her life's mission was meant to bring joy to all. Wait, what's that thing on her butt? Oh, that's a cutie mark. Everybody gets one when they discover their calling in life. Oh, I got one of those. After I found out alcohol and guns were my calling, I woke up and found a beer bottle crying right. two shotguns on my left butt cheek. Boomstick, that's a tattoo. You don't remember it because you passed out drunk in the park. Hey. Yeah. But booze and weapons do define my it's life. Don't they? Well, sure, but. And it's fate. Anyway, now that she had something hey. better to do than farm rocks for a living, Pinky left home and ended up in Ponyville. She landed a job in bed at the Sugar Cube mm -hmm. Quarter. Oh, that's nice, but I should fucking do it. Every single pony in town, usually with a welcoming song and dance. Time as any to mention that Pinkie Pie also sees past the fourth wall. Sorry, did I interrupt you guys? No, we were just trying to do a show, but yeah, by all means, tell them about yourself while I go grab a beer. Oh, I can yeah. sing, I can dance, I throw the best at parties, I can. No, no, no! The awesome stuff! Give them something lethal! What? I never heard anyone! Well, plus it's an evil shape tip and change one. That's why I never leave home without my party cannon! Usually this beauty can set up an entire party. All right. Dude. Hey, move it. upstairs. So, um, do we walk back up the slide, or, or what? Even if you think you've got the upper hand on her, she's got her own pinky sense that lets her predict oncoming threats. The twitching move like pinky sense is telling me that's not 
pinky sense. Bunch of random things happening to my body at random times that supposedly predict the future. I call them combos. Her pinky sense is so precise she can expertly pinky maneuver Pat from the collapsing the skyscraper under construction while saving four other ponies. Pinky sense? How about nonsense? None of this is scientifically possible. Right. Sometimes you just have to believe in things, even if you can't figure them out. No, I can't do that. Deciphering the impossible is literally what we do here. Right. The hell with all these ponies? Are they all like this? Why? Oh, this madness goes even further. Even if you were to somehow damage Pinkie Pie's body, she can just reassemble herself on the spot. And no one can escape her. Not even Rainbow Dash. You know, the pony who can fly over 3,800 miles per hour? Mm -hmm. Yes, we should all be thankful that she uses these powers for good. With the help of her friends, Pinkie saved the world several times. Like when her group went up against a glowy horse powerful enough to move the moon. Pinkie's spastic demeanor might make her seem like a hapless child, but she's actually pretty smart. She knows the names, birthdays, preferences, and locations of every single citizen of Ponyville by memory. How, now, she's Deadpool. So she plans things out decades in advance out, from her secret out the task master, though. She also frequently and alters her own personal gravity that's without having says. to affect the world around her. By inexplicably changing physics like this, Pinkie Pie is theoretically capable of, well, just about anything. Okay, for a very pink pony, this belly is actually kind of scary. Yeah, Only way you could get any is if there were a whole army of Pinkie Pies. Funny <laughs> you should say that! <laughs> no! No, no, no! I can always use the miracle! My Nana Pinkie taught me how to use it to duplicate myself over and over and over and over and over! Pony! No more! No more! Just go back to Ponyville. You'll, you'll be getting a new visitor soon. Very soon. Like, right now soon. She's easily distracted. She may be some weird ultra powerful cartoon being, but she's anything but a fighter. What's more, she can be emotionally fragile at times. Mm -hmm. If her mood turns negative, she loses her will to do the one thing she loves most spreading happiness to every pony she meets. And like it or not, she's Pinky gonna go will spread happiness to you, no matter how hard you struggle. <laughs> I don't. This about to be dumb. This about to be dumb. Fuck everything. Deadpool for the win, man. She better not pull his. She better not pull his damn sword that he used to last. Oh my god! And she used his sword against him on this shit. Man, let's pick you going in this shit, dog. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, they both gonna kill the <laughs> boomstick. <laughs> oh, hello again, Death Battle. No, uh, so, not. who's the lucky victim? You cannot be serious right now. Hi <laughs> <laughs> there, I'm Pinkie Pie. I've never seen you before. Are you new? You must be new. Where are you welcome? No, none of that. Shame on you! Right. I'm gonna welcome you one way or another! Fuck! <sighs> Pinkie Pie, you have to get out of here! Here we go. Forget the clue. Pinkie Pie, you have to get out of here! Pinkie Pie, you have to get out of here! Oh, after the Deadpool and Deathstroke one was so classy. I think that's still my favorite death battle of all time, man. Yeah, it was... Thank you. Easy, easy, lemon squeezy. Everybody say that shit now. Oh, what the? Yeah. What the heck? Like Ryan Reynolds Senpai once said, Maximum effort! You like this? What the heck? Fireball! Oh my god, this is great. <laughs> Oh 
humor guy. Uh, best friends. Is he gonna stab her in the back? Oh, or is they gonna go ham on on the fringes? That's great. This is oh my god. Where I saw this first. Oh, that's all. Yeah, let's move it like that. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Are they chasing the wings? The viewers? <laughs> that was the last time I ever made a lot. You! I finally found you! The idiot with the stupid face, the idiot with the stupid hair, and mm -hmm. the idiot who writes my jokes because he thinks he's funnier than me! Well, I mean, I did write that one, so... It's me. I just got one question for you all. Just one... Woo! Why, oh why? Would you pull me into another one of these battles on my birthday? Come on! Wait a minute! You didn't tell me it was your birthday! <laughs> what the f <laughs> Well, so much for the death in death battle now, no. right? I'm not gonna announce which one it was though. Now I gotta find out what was Wait. it the lower crawl? <laughs> Damn it, now I gotta uh find out what's next. Alright. Yeah, Alright. Whatever, it was cool. It, it was it was it was it was it was cool. It got a little entertaining but then it didn't. <laughs> like okay. Twelve thousand thumbs down, that's that's not much. That's not too bad. I mean, well, that's a lot, actually. But it still got 117,000 <laughs> thumbs up, so. <laughs> now I gotta watch some reactions. Alright, anyway, it was cool, man. Let me know what y'all thought about it in the comment section. I'm sorry, my shit blowing up, but hey. And that's my last death bar reaction of the day. Nice. Uh, I guess, Laura, is Laura Croft next? Well, it gotta be, because then I think uh, Scrooge McDuck came out the death, so. Alright. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share if you're a big business. I holler. Wow. All right.